the god particle now followed by the goddess particle? Yes, it's confirmed. The Earth has been hit by a mysterious goddess particle. In an exciting twist in cosmic particle research, the Amaterasu particle has now been identified for the first time. As part of a high-energy cosmic ray, the particle, named by scientists after the Japanese sun goddess, collided with Earth from the cosmos. This event could add a completely new dimension to astrophysics, as the goddess particle is an incredible energy bomb. The Amaterasu particle has thrown the world of particle physics into turmoil. With an incredible energy of over 240 exa-electron volts, this particle has set a new superlative in the world of cosmology. Its discovery is not only unusual, it goes beyond the limits of our previous scientific understanding. To put this enormous amount of energy into perspective, imagine a high-speed train fully loaded and traveling at maximum speed. If this train suddenly transferred its entire kinetic energy into a single subatomic particle, it would be equivalent to the energy of the newly discovered goddess particle. This unimaginable concentration of energy in such a tiny point in space poses completely new challenges for physics. What makes the Amaterasu particle even more extraordinary is its mysterious origin. It appears to originate from a region of space known as the local void, a mysterious, seemingly empty space. This discovery is forcing scientists to consider the existence of previously unknown and extremely energetic objects or other phenomena within this void. The arrival of this particle on Earth has no direct, tangible impact on our planet or life here. These particles have always been part of cosmic events, of which we and our globe are also a part. Only now, thanks to improved technologies, we can measure particles like these for the first time. What is Amaterasu doing in the subatomic world? You probably don't even realize at this moment that everything you see now, your eyes, your hands, the computer, or the smartphone you are looking at, is made up of tiny particles. The microcosm in the world of the smallest particles is at least as exciting as the macrocosm with its planets, stars, and other gigantic cosmic phenomena. The scientific discipline of particle physics aims to understand this micro-world and investigates the particles themselves as well as the forces that act between them. Subatomic particles such as quarks, leptons, and bosons are the basic components of matter and energy. Their interactions and connections form the basis of the entire universe and all the forces at work within it. From the structures of atoms to gravity and radioactive radiation, everything depends on the properties and behavior of these tiny particles. Studying them will help us in the future to answer fundamental questions about the origin, structure, and ultimate fate of the universe. The recently discovered Amaterasu particle, with its enormous energy, challenges the limits of particle energy and raises questions about what processes generate so much energy and how particles with such energy can hurtle through space without producing any effects. Amaterasu is not alone in this. In 1991, a particle was discovered that scientists spontaneously dubbed the Oh My God particle. The researcher who measured the extraordinary energy of 320 exa-electron volts at the time got carried away with this very phrase. Oh my God, how can that be? Now, Amaterasu is another particle with extreme forces. Although the 240 exa-electron volts do not quite match the 1991 discovery, they are certainly astonishing. Above all, the question arises as to how many of these particles still exist and what forces can they combine. When we think of the sun goddess and the oh my god particle, we automatically think of the god particle that made headlines in 2012. Discovered by the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva, the Higgs boson was the result of, of a long search for the particle that corresponds to the Higgs field. The Higgs field was discovered back in the 1960s by a scientist of the same name and researchers have been desperately searching for the particle ever since. In 2012, the time had finally come. Have we found God? was the headline in journals and magazines at the time. The name God particle is somewhat confusing. The Higgs field is the threshold above which certain particles acquire mass and thus become visible matter. In a way, it's therefore a key threshold of creation, but the particle is certainly not God. However, the names of the particles already show us that we are slowly on the trail of God in the world of the smallest particles. For centuries, 
people have looked into the macrocosm to find God or the meaning of the universe. However, we may not find God there, but in the microcosm, in the world of the smallest particles where all matter is created. In addition to these remarkable divine particles, there is another exciting category of particles that come to us from space. Neutrinos have been nicknamed ghost particles. Because of their low interaction with matter, they pass through walls and through your body virtually invisibly and unnoticed right now. Neutrinos became famous when researchers used a new building spanning technique to scan the Great Pyramid of Giza for hidden rooms and passageways. This technique is only possible because neutrinos pass through the thick walls of the pyramid and provide a kind of X-ray image when their paths are detected with highly sensitive measuring devices. Will the particles eventually provide us with free energy? When we hear about such extreme forces within a single particle, we can't help but wonder whether these particles can somehow be used to generate energy. The discovery of particles like the Amaterasu and the Oh My God particle still puzzles us at the moment, but it could also open the door to incredible technological advances. These extremely energetic particles are already inspiring the most creative minds in science, and in addition to the search for their origins and the mechanisms of their creation, they could one day be of service to us in unimaginable ways. Imagine a future where we use the principles of particle physics to develop revolutionary sources of energy. Perhaps one day we could capture the immense energy of cosmic rays and convert it into usable energy, much like we use solar energy today. This technology could have the potential to revolutionize humanity's energy supply by providing a virtually inexhaustible and clean source of energy. Furthermore, our increasing understanding of subatomic particles could also lead to breakthroughs in materials science. We could develop new materials with extraordinary properties, such as superconducting materials that work at room temperature, or materials that are stable in certain conditions but then decompose. Imagine plastic that breaks down into its component parts after a few months or years, or a computer powered by a single Amaterasu particle. Some of the brightest minds in the world believe that particles will one day provide us with advanced communication technologies far beyond what we can currently imagine. Thanks to particles, we may one day be able to make contact with other civilizations in space or create propulsion systems for spaceships that only science fiction writers have dreamed of so far. Finally, particle physics could also enable us to make groundbreaking progress in the field of medicine. By understanding the interactions of particles with biological tissue, we could develop new, targeted treatment methods for many diseases. The possibility of fighting cancer cells at the molecular level or correcting genetic diseases at the root may already be within reach. The Amaterasu Particle in the Large Hadron Collider Let me tell you a story about a gigantic technical facility deep underground and close to the Swiss city of Bern. The Large Hadron Collider is a story of human precision technology, the constant pursuit of scientific knowledge and performance. The world's most powerful particle accelerator fires streams of particles at each other with incredible force. By observing the behavior of the streams during the collision, scientists learn which forces are released and which forces hold these particles together. The main task of the 27-kilometer-long and 100-meter-deep facility is to accelerate protons, as positively charged particles in the atomic nucleus, to almost the speed of light and then set them on a collision course. In the high-energy collisions, most of the subatomic particles only exist for fractions of a second. These experiments at the LHC have made it possible, among other things, to discover the Higgs boson and dozens of other particles that are smaller than atoms and smaller than quanta, electrons, or neutrons. We can hardly imagine how tiny and how fleeting these particles are, and yet this world is the basis of everything we know and are. Despite its incredible success, the LHC has come in for some heavy criticism in the past. Some critics have concerns about the safety of the accelerator, particularly with regard to the theoretical possibility of dangerous phenomena, such as microscopic black holes being created during collisions. However, these concerns have been largely allayed by the scientific community, and the experts involved in their research emphasize that such events, even if they were to occur, would not pose a threat to our planet. 
The black holes created at the LHC would be extremely small and would evaporate instantly without posing any threat to the Earth or its inhabitants. Another point of criticism relates to the enormous costs and resources required to operate the LHC. One round of research devours millions and out come some fleeting impressions of particles so tiny that we can never see or imagine them. Nevertheless, proponents of the LHC emphasize the priceless scientific knowledge that will be gained through work at the Collider and the long-term benefits this research could have for all of humanity. Are particles interstellar messengers? Did you know that particles always carry information through space? In fact, they are like cosmic messengers, cosmic rays that reach us in the form of high-energy particles from the depths of space not only bring us the messages of the events that created them, but very likely particles such as Amaterasu, neutrinos, and others carry fundamental messages about the structure of the universe. Each of these particles could tell a whole story about the structure and growth processes within the cosmos. But we are still at the very beginning of deciphering these messages. Every cosmic particle that reaches Earth is a witness to an incredibly long journey through the universe during which each particle has been subjected to forces. They come from sources such as exploding supernovae, active galactic nuclei, pulsars, and even the mysterious collisions of black holes. By studying their energy, composition, and direction, astronomers can reconstruct what is happening across the universe and possibly one day understand who or what is the driving force behind it all. Become a subscriber now. The best videos are yet to come.